15 for my bros, yeah. 15 with my bros, yeah. Lakers, I wanna come home. Lakers, I wanna come home. Show my love. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zara Beauty and we are back for another video. So 2017 is drawing to a close and I just thought to myself, let me look back at my 2017 and see what were the things I did right, what things I did wrong, what happened in my 2017. I want to fill you guys in with what went on in my life in 2017 and the big changes that occurred in my life and my plans for 2018. So this is gonna be like a update slash future plans video, okay? Because I want you guys to know this about me and I want you guys to kind of have a more personal understanding of me. If you're not following me on Snapchat, you probably don't really know much about me. I really feel like I really show my true colors on Snapchat you really want to know the kind of person I am that's on my snapchat love or hate me that's who I am so add me up on snapchat yes shameless plug but seriously how else are you gonna have a good understanding of somebody if you don't kind of follow them in your day-to-day -day life I'm kind of like shy to do this video and you guys are looking at makeup like girl where how when girl I got the plug I got the juice bitch just let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to do a makeup tutorial on this look. I told my Snapchat they want me to show, if they want me to show them how I cut and chisel my cheeks because I just learned a new technique. Lord Jesus, like, I can see the difference in my makeup, like, seriously. But anyway, straight to the video. Okay, so, 2017. Hmm, I wish I did this update video in 2016 like ending because this was 2016 was a wild year for me like it was wild it was crazy like so much went on in 2016 so i came into 2016 with very few friends i mean very few friends i mean i can count them on one hand i came into 2017 with very few friends um and a boyfriend <laughs> and i left 2017 with more friends and no boyfriend <laughs> So yes, y'all, I'm single for now, for now. The status might change at any time. So I'm happily single, like happy single. Um, I came into 2017 um, in a very toxic relationship. Um, I was trying to get out like this was the real get out and it was emotionally abusive. No, nope, it wasn't physically abusive. Uh, you, I died you come and do physical abuse with me. I will kill you and kill you finish. But it was not physically abusive. Um, it was emotionally abusive and it was like a repeating cycle over and over again. And it was a very long term relationship over three years. Um, this was like three, three quarters of my university education. I was with this one person and we did everything together. Like we literally were like married basically. And but it wasn't happy like i wasn't happy i didn't have a connection with this person but because of the time we'd been together you know we thought that this is it like we were each other's last bus stop and this was it and like we're gonna get married blah blah, blah. but in my heart i knew i didn't really want to marry this person because i didn't really know him that well it was just a very very long stove it was just long and it was just an never-ending cycle and i just needed to get out so in the first quarter of the year I was in a relationship and then come April I cut it off cut off all ties and I was single and the second quarter of the year a girl was a baby girl was living the baby girl lifestyle I did not want to date okay like three years boo no mm, no I'm not one of those like what they call it they call these people that are cr chronic relationship people they they have to go from one relationship no before this relationship I didn't know I, I didn't think I could have a relationship for more than a month I'm serious I'm, like that was my like I didn't believe that I could be in a relationship for that long because I used to get bored of people and like I just like to be dynamic like you know so I was not trying to have a relationship like no I was just living a baby girl lifestyle um and I was meeting people and stuff and 2017 was a year where a lot of the stuff I thought about people a lot of the ignorant stuff I thought about people like I learned stuff in 2017 um I started dating out of my nationality out of my race 
and I learned so much about other people, other cultures, other like experiences. It really, really changed and opened my eyes. Like I can't even explain to you guys. Coming to Canada, we had this misinformed, really ignorant opinion about people of other cultures and people of other races. Um, but this year, I was able to see that that's such a fucking bullshit lie. Um, you know, people are different, and I used to think that only a certain type of people did certain type of things but that's not true like behaviors are common to everyone i know it's a no-brainer but trust me like living in a bubble and a shell like nearly all my life i didn't know any better so i learned so much about people okay i'll show you guys that like zara i just yeah yeah just bizarre bush what did you learn who did you date well i started dating white guys okay so uh you know, remember I came into 2017 and the first, one of the first videos I made was my parents didn't want me to marry a white guy. Um, I mean, like before then, I didn't, I didn't have any issues with white guys. I seriously hate when the question comes up like, oh, we did a white guy. I think everyone's people, but to be honest and to be realistic, we usually tend to date within our race. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Black love, white love, Asian love, whatever, like nothing wrong with that. But I never really saw myself dating outside of my race because I, I literally thought that they weren't really interested in me. I'm, I know, I know guys. See, do not blame me. Don't be like, what the fuck, this girl, are you serious? No, I honestly, didn't think that white guys had interest in me the same way they might think that you know a lot of white guys think maybe black girls don't like them okay so i didn't know any better once i started dating it seemed like that was oh, i was like what the fuck like i was like y'all like black girls like i swear i didn't know like i know you guys were like kind of ignorant i just didn't think that you know that could happen and i had a crush on this one person in school and see when I have crushes I don't act I don't care what anybody tells me I don't act in them because I need to be sure it's for real and it's not a passing feeling so I had a crush on this one guy and um I didn't I didn't do nothing about it I was dropping hints dropping hints but I didn't come out and be like oh yo go out with me blah 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 but then a couple months down the line man hit me up and was like I had a crush on you and I was like bitch what <laughs> But, and he was actually getting my hints, but he was in a relationship back then. So, yeah, that happened. Like, and he was, he was white, okay? So, like, it li like let me not lie to you. Like, 90% of everyone else that I saw after my relationship were all white. Like, I, I, and they, they weren't just, like, the random, they were, like, the fucking gorgeous white guys. So, I was like, what? Like, I, it was a huge shock. It was a huge eye-opener for me because I didn't know a lot of, there was a huge, like, community i would say community there's a large number of people that enter the inter date that like you know that don't see it as an issue i didn't know that 2017 was also the year when i started online dating yes before then i didn't have any reason to online date i had no issues with online dating but i had this preconceived notion that most people that did online dating were crazy psychos to like join and i guess i'm a crazy psycho but i had this long-term like belief that online dating wasn't really like you hear of it you hear people that found each other through christian mingle or tenor or whatever but i didn't really pay any attention to because then i didn't see any reason to right um then this year i started online dating because like i wanted to broaden my horizons online dating gives you access to people you would never have met your past would never have crossed like where would you meet this kind of person like where like so that's why i love about online dating it expands your options you don't have to be within the same circle like you know like and that was the thing i did not want to date anyone within my circle i just i did not want to date anyone around nothing like that i just did not i was not interested in the whole nigerian circle everything i did not want to do that so i knew that the only way that i could branch out was to go through online dating and oh, girl that was a whole different experience bitch like i'm gonna make videos about it don't worry don't worry girl if i tell you my stories girl i am mm, very very meticulous and i'm very cautious but even the most cautious people we got them crazy stories bro like yeah so i started online dating in 2017 as well so that's one thing i did and i met new amazing friends in 2017 i met amazing people in 2017 friends that i hope are going to be friends for a long time and i reconnected my friendships with a lot of people as well and at first going into 2017 i was really scared about friendships okay like i was hurt i was so hurt in 2016 i was so hurt like 
A friendship breakup to me is worse than a relationship breakup because with friends, you tell them everything about you. And in my past relationships, I've never really had a connection with the person I was with like that to be like, oh, you're my best friend. I never had that. So, so my friendship to me was like my relationship. I took it seriously. Like I would drop whatever I was doing, whoever I was with, if any of my friends were in trouble. Like I took it so deep. So to be hurt like that, it fucked me up. Like it gave me intense trust issues. Like if anyone tried to come close to me or be my friend, I'll just cut them off. Like I just did not want that. I cut off so many people. Like because I just was scared that if I let you in, you'd get to know me and then you hurt me. Right? Like I already had that coming. I already had that trust issues from being a kid. Since I've never really been a friendship person, I don't know how to keep friends for long. But having kept this people in my life for this long I thought that they were blood like they were like my sisters like so when it went left when it went south I was so hurt like I oh my god so when I got into 2017 I was so cautious like I would meet beautiful amazing people and I would just not go through with the friendship because I was scared but I'm so grateful that I still have friends that stuck by my side, even through my trust issues, they understood what I was going through and they still decided to be friends with me. So I'm so happy. Shout out to you guys, you know yourself. Thank you so much for being in my life. Um, yeah, so 2017 also was the year I learned about perseverance and faith and patience. Um, 2017 was a slow year for me in terms of like life, progressions um i kind of envisioned a lot of stuff going on for myself in 2017 it was kind of slowed down because i was finishing school and i was doing a lot of stuff and 2017 was a year of temptations like i don't mean like those kind of temptations like it was a year that tempted me that tested me it tested the strength of my faith it tested the strength of my perseverance because i went through some shit that I did not believe I could go through. I, I was at a point in my life where I had help from nowhere. I couldn't get help from anywhere. Like I was like at this flat plane in my life. And every time, God is so good, Jesus Christ. Every time I was at that rock bottom, God always came through. Like I can't explain to you how beautiful, how merciful God is. God always came through. And it imbibed in me that faith that Zara, no matter what happens, God is there. God got you. Like, guys, I can't explain to you when I was a point. I, I wasn't praying. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's like I was praying and fasting and, like, oh, shaking our glory, faith. No, no. I was literally relying on my own understanding. But God will never give you anything that's too big for you, He would never give you any struggle that is too much for you because he's there like god guys i can't explain to you i went through a point in my life where i was like this is it like i'm just gonna sit down and just just let it take over me right like i just was gonna let it depression and pain and anxiety and anger i was gonna let it swallow me but every day guys if you're my snapchat trust me i feel like i you will understand what i'm saying a little bit better because there are some days when i was extra happy or extra extra you guys don't know that those are my worst days those are my worst days because I have nothing else like I did I decided that I am NOT going to sit down and be a victim of circumstance I am going to be happy like imagine fighting depression every day there was a whole month every day I was fighting depression every day I would go out and sometimes I would like start breathing so hard because I felt like and like I would just be swallowed up and then I was living by myself yeah 2017 was also a year where I started living by myself I didn't think I could live by myself but I started living by myself in 2017 um, so there was no one I could talk to I had just myself guys I can't explain to you how scary it is to just be all alone I mean not even physically I mean mentally in your head you feel like you're all alone that's the worst feeling and like I said every time Baba God came through and I'm finishing 2017 by the grace of God we're all going to see 2018 we're not going to lose any of our loved ones in 2018 but 
2017 was really a year that tested my faith and although this was great i don't want to go through this again in 2018 i want to i want to fulfill my i want to fulfill like and go through my life processes better in a better state in a better atmosphere in a more conducive atmosphere um 2017 is ending and um, i have learned so much about myself i've learned so much about people different people different cultures and everything like that i've also learned how to pluck my frontal a little bit better if you guys can see remember i used to have like dirty frontal this is not the best because i did not gel it i see i don't care what happens i'm not going to gel my whole thing because i have hair going growing to the side of my face about that life and i don't like to sleep with wigs i know most people do the whole deep method if they want to like sleep with it but maybe maybe in minds involved i mean like you know like i might have to like yo but for this time being there's no reason for me to gel it all the way because after this video now <laughs> is going oh <laughs> so yeah i learned how to kind of do my parts also yeah um 2018 what are my plans for 2018 um wait and see <laughs> all right so first things first um i'm taking my music more seriously um i had so much opportunities that i um decided not to take 2017 with my music because i don't think i was mentally prepared for it yet and some people are like yeah joe but every opportunity you don't know i personally am not that kind of person i know that if music doesn't work for me my university degree work for me if that doesn't work for me like my acting work like I, by the grace of god i'm multi-talented and i know that, that this is not the end of my life do you know what i mean i have a constant faith that i'm going to be something great in life it's always streamlined my vision like when you have that vision in your head that you're not going to be a failure that you're going to be great everything you do is a step-by-step -step process that will take you there trust me no need to die no need to die no need to compromise anything just keep on being steady and i got some music opportunities and i was just not prepared for it mentally because it's very tasking and you need to be mentally prepared for it you need to be prepared for the whole thing that comes with it so but this year i think i'm in a better spot to work on my music work on that um so zara music which is my music channel is going to be active um starting from this year um, I'm going to start recording more covers, more lives, and by the grace of God, my goal is to record my first single this year. I write songs, guys, and I really thought that that's what I was going to do, just write songs and sell it to people, like be the Sia, Sia, of like, you know, just be a, a songwriter, but I, I might just try to do my own single, who knows, like, that's my plan. I mean, this is a plan, and I speak it into existence, and what I speak into my, into existence, Bible says this word that's come out of my mouth shall not return to me void. I speak it into existence and my thoughts become things. I'm singing it out for you guys to hear it and so the heavens will hear it and the angel will hear it and write it down and say this is what's going to happen. I believe that I'm going to do it. And I'm also saying this so you guys can encourage me because you guys know that I can be lazy as fuck and I can get so sidetracked by so much things happening. I want you guys to remind me Zara. Remember, this is our plan. 2018. Um, 2018 hopefully i hope to be in a relationship i think i'll be in a better place to be in a relationship in 2018 because yeah girl is not getting any younger i'm not getting any younger i need to get relationships with girls man. okay um and that and 2018 um i hope to um you know establish my friendships more and be a better friend a better confidant i think i'm okay at this point but i feel like i can be better and 2018 i want to be a better person um in general i've grown so much and i think people forget that whether or not you're on youtube or whatever you're a person and you're growing you're going through life processes every day things change people change opinions change that's why when people come to my channel they start saying shit i'm like come on i don't blame them because 
it is what it is. It's in the internet. Like I, I don't hold grudges with people. I don't none of that. It's not necessary. And when people come and say, Oh, she's like that, and then the next year or the next couple months, oh she's not like that anymore. It's just people change, people grow, right? And I hope to be a better person every day by day. I hope to learn things that will make me be a better person, a kinder person, a more giving person. 2018, I want to pay more in tights. <laughs> Trust me, giving, oh my god. Every time I give my tithe, offering, whatever, guys, I do not know what power in the universe, if you don't believe in God, but I believe it's God, but I don't know what power, I always get it back twice, I'm telling you. Every time I give my tithe, every time I give my offerings, I cannot explain to you guys the magic. Within that month, I'm blessed with maybe an opportunity, I get a raise, or like this brand deal I've been waiting for it just comes through. I'm telling you guys every time. And every time I don't pay my tithe, I don't get anything much. I, I but maybe just the usual thing. I'm even losing. Trust me, guys. I don't know how. I believe in the power of tithing. A scientific approach, not even a religious approach. You just give and it comes back to you. That's what I want to do. So I want to do more tithing, give my offerings in church, help out more, volunteer my time more. Um and i also want to do more giveaways on my channel i started my first giveaway last month and i feel like i shouldn't have given away money because i guess money is a little bit sensitive i ended up giving it away to someone that really needed it okay um in nigeria because the exchange rate was better i guess like most of my followers in america and stays at 50 dollars was not much um but that was what i had at that point so i just still decided to give um but by the grace of god i hope god will bless me enough so that i can be a huger blessing to people i hope to give away like way more stuff and more quality stuff and stuff in this 2018 i hope to be a blessing to others that's just my goal i want to be a blessing to other people 2018 i might move to the states okay i might move to the states it's a might it's a might it's a might okay guys calm down calm down i might move to the states in 2018 hopefully atlanta or la the um for work and to pursue my career as an actress or musician if you guys don't know i am actually a semi-professional actress um i haven't done any professional gigs yet but i've been training um so i hope to kind of get more access there not necessarily move because i don't think i really love to move to the states i love canada okay the states are just too stressful maybe after trump maybe but i would just like to work in the states yeah i think it's work i like to work in the states come 2018 so that's also one of my goals in um 2018 but yeah guys i guess that's it like i don't know um 2017 was kind of like kind of anticlimactic because i was meant to graduate i was meant to have my graduation ceremony last year like 2017 um but unfortunately it couldn't happen because right before i graduated the devil came and dropped the bomb and I realized that um, I wasn't able to graduate because I did not do calculus and vectors. I had done all my courses, completed everything, but because I didn't have grade 12 calculus and vectors, they said I couldn't graduate with my honors economics degree. It was a very, 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 very painful and depressing time in my life because I had worked so hard I, there were times when I wanted to give up, but I kept on pushing because I was like, April, I'm done, I'm done, and I'm done. Um, but it wasn't so, and I tried taking the course. Um, I was working full time. Um, there was so much going on. I wasn't successful in the course, so I had to wait another long time to take the course. And by the grace of God, I found you know, people just came out of nowhere to help me. And one of the people in the school told me that there was another way out, which is what I had to do. So by the grace of God, my graduation would be in June of next year. Um, so for all of you that were asking me, Zara, we didn't see any graduation pictures. I didn't want to talk about this because it was very, very heartbreaking for me. Um, but it is what it is. And I decided to talk about this here because I want to encourage you. It's not the end of the world. If you don't graduate right on when you decided to graduate, it's not. Um, just keep on working hard, believing in God. Do what you have to do to finish up your degree. Just finish. Just finish. Trust me, girl, boy. Just finish. Trust me. Like, 
it's just have it in the bag don't give up don't give up because it looks hard because you're just tired because of the financial you know burden on you just finish it and know you finished like just complete what you started to me it's not about because i want a degree it's more about my ability to complete that which i started that which i've been working on because it'll prove that i don't give up that I, is a true test of my perseverance like I said so um, if you're in a similar boat as me I hope I really pray that your situation gets revolved and you graduate as soon as possible but yeah guys that is my 2017 in retrospect I hope you guys like this kind of videos let me know if you guys want to want me to do this kind of videos more often like life updates and stuff although I'm a very personal person at the end of the day I feel like um, if there's anything in my story that can help people, I would rather share it and keep it to myself. I want to be a testimony. I want to help people out. That's just what I want to do in my life. Just be a blessing. And um, if you, if this kind of stories kind of help you out to, you know, have faith in yourself or, you know, kind of motivate you, then please, by all means, let me know and I'll do more of this kind of videos. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. Happy New Year. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Um, yeah, and I will see you in 2018 or if it's 2018 already. Have a good year!